Okay, it is true I am not a fan of asparagus, but I have to give it another shot because I'm all grown up now, right? And uh, I can't let a childhood trauma influence my opinion on asparagus. So I'm going to make a creamy asparagus um, uh, sauce for pasta, penne pasta. I'm going to put a shallot in there, a decent sized garlic. Just going to fry this up in some olive oil. Put in the uh, the uh, cream, pan de cucina. It's uh, I've never tried this cream before. It's supposed to be really, really uh, good. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and my shallots, my garlic, and my uh, asparagus. I'm just gonna fry them in there till the uh, asparagus and the shallots are done and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just cook the asparagus a little bit here to try to get it maybe browned up a little bit and uh, retain some of the, I don't wanna cook it too much because I don't like green vegetables. At heart, I don't like them. I like them, I like them fine if they're raw. I don't like them if they're overcooked, what I call overcooked. Of course, everybody's taste is different there, so. And the uh, pasta water is going here, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this a couple minutes. I don't think it's going to take very long. Okay, I should reduce my heat a little bit. Yeah, because I don't want to don't wanna scorch the uh, don't want to scorch the uh, garlic and the shallots there. Start it off a little bit high. Yeah, it's not too bad. I caught it in time. So, let those go. And for pasta with this tonight, I'm going to use up uh, get about 100 grams of uh, penne pasta here. And this is 11 minutes to cook. Not that hungry. Going to make it vegetable heavy. Just a little bit of pasta underneath. And uh, the only thing I can see here, it's unhealthy at all, is the cream. Not, well, no, I don't know. It is what it is. Okay. okay. We're five minutes into it here. And uh, pretty good. Just deglaze the pan a little bit here with a little bit of uh, a little bit of white cooking wine there. And when that wine cooks off, then I'll, I'll put in the uh, cream. And that's my sauce. Shallots are clear. Garlic's just uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. I'd say that's uh, on average a golden brown. A couple pieces, small pieces got a little bit overdone. But we're just going to let that white wine boil off there. And that stops steaming. In other words, the liquid of the wine's all gone and just a little flavor left in it. Then I'll be back down to my oil. I might not want to wait until quite that long. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna add the cream. Okay, and in goes the cream. That is heavy cream. That is really heavy cream. Wow. Okay, that's almost like sour cream. Hmm. Better get stirring this. So it's a good thing I had that little bit of wine in there. A little liquid with it. Yeah, I'm going to turn my heat way, way super low here. Because I do not want to burn that cream. I should have went with Panna Fresca. I, uh, I'm told this is the perfect cream to use for um, the, the, the Norcia Salsica sauce, but not necessarily for the asparagi. So, yep, I'm going to take that off the heat just a little bit here, put some milk in it. 
Okay, so I'm still recovering here from a, 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 a milk product that I wasn't really familiar with. It's a very thick um, cream. And so I added a little bit of milk to it to thin it out a little bit. And I'm going to just stir in some cheese here. And when this cheese melts, and I'm also covering up the taste of the asparagus. Uh, because I don't like... I don't know. It's okay, Rob. It's, it's not what I call good, you know. I've never really just loved green vegetables like, uh, you know, <laughs> especially overcooked. Bad childhood memories. So <laughs> we'll, we'll repress them with the cream, with milk and cheese. <laughs> and this sauce is shaping up. It, uh, it didn't uh, lump up. Uh, well, I don't, there's nothing in there to lump up, really. Didn't burn the milk. And it's a grind, ground. I done grinded some more cheese into it. So that ought to be a pretty Parmigiani kind of a sauce. Well, let's see what we got here before we put the pasta in. Hmm. Highly edible. I hate to say this, but I could use a little bit of salt. But it's time to take that off the fire and consider just a touch of salt and pepper. Okay, so the sauce is good enough. I'm going to make a little bit more pasta. But this is the last of my 11-minute uh, pasta. So I've got an 8-minute pasta here. It's a little bit smaller, slightly smaller, you know, penne pasta. So I'm going to just put the cooking of this one on hold for a minute here. Get my eight-minute pasta started, and then it um, just sort of, when I think's the right time, I'll just uh, reintroduce this pasta back in here with the, with the eight-minute, and then we should be good. But actually, that's looking like a pretty respectable plate of pasta. Maybe it was enough pasta. Well, I'm going to do this now. I've got an experiment going. All right, so there's there's my uh, eight-minute pasta. And when this is about five minutes into it, I'm going to put this slightly larger 11-minute pasta into it. And... Uh, <clears throat> I think they're going to come out close enough. They're not going to be perfect. One's going to be a little bit more cooked than the other one, but that's fine. Okay. And um, I have had a couple bites. Came out okay. Um, probably not as healthy as it would be if I left off the cream or used less, but I don't know. At least I'm getting some green stuff here, green vitamins. But it's good. It's it called to me for pepper, just because I like pepper on things that are cheesy or potatoy or and so forth. But um, the asparagus doesn't taste bad at all. Pretty good. Bon appetit. Very little green doubles. <clears throat> 